Welcome to the first edition of NYMR TV. Now this is a new service which is designed to take you behind the scenes and give you access to all areas of the world famous North Yorkshire Moors Railway. We want to give visitors, volunteers and the staff a chance to catch up on all the news and developments at Britain's most famous heritage railway. NYMR TV will help visitors and enthusiasts get more out of their trip to North Yorkshire. We'll bring you news of forthcoming events and attractions guides to what to see alongside the line, interviews with the staff and those line-side characters too. Plus, perhaps most importantly, the exclusive behind-the-scenes footage. You'll find NYMR TV on the website and on YouTube. It is no exaggeration to say that if Bridge 30 isn't replaced, the future of the most famous heritage line in the country is bleak. The North Yorkshire Moors Railway really isn't viable without it. The costs associated with its replacement are immense, and without the fundraising activities of staff, visitors, members and the general public at large, Bridge 30 could have done what Beeching failed to do 45 years ago and close the line for good. NYMR TV has been down to the bridge with the general manager, Philip Benham. If we don't replace this bridge over the coming winter, then we won't be able to run trains next year. Now, clearly this is in the middle of our route. Uh, it would be virtually impossible to operate anything like the railway that we have done over the last third of a century. So it's crunch time. We've got to get this bridge uh, attended to over this winter. That's why the appeal we've been running this year is so critical to us. As you can see looking up there, that's the sort of work that's got to be done on the um, bridge abutment here to get rid of the cracks here that are forming. And um, that's just some of the preliminary work before we do the main girders later in the winter. So the work on Bridge 30 is scheduled to start, but of course the appeal for cash continues. And there are a number of different events planned which we'll look at in a moment. First though, let's see what happens to the NYMR services while this section of track is out of commission. Well, we're planning to do it during the middle of winter when we're not running trains. So, although there'll be some effects because we have to start the preliminary work this autumn, so we can't run our trains through to Gromont uh, over the latter part of the year. But I think the fact that we're now able to run into Whitby and along the S Valley line does give us an opportunity over this winter. Um, we're planning to run trains uh, not just between Whitby and Gromont, but also on Sundays right the way through to Battersby, which means we're going right the way along the north end of the National Park. Uh, and then with that we think will be quite an attractive journey for people a winter Sunday out uh, they can either do the whole run or they can drop off along the way at somewhere like Danby or Castleton opportunity to go and have a meal perhaps at one of the local pubs or, or have a walk up into the moors so let's go and have a look at some of the Esk Valley line now and see what you can look out for if you haven't been on it before we're going to travel by class 25 diesel on this occasion with drivers Mike Mitchell seated at the controls and senior driver Chris Cubitt who's overseeing Mike's route learning run. We travel first up to Glazedale. There's a passing loop here so trains can pass one another and there's a northern service coming in from Middlesbrough on its way to Whitby very shortly. We pause at Glazedale to exchange signalling tokens so we have the authority to go onto the single line and also to meet Ivan. Ivan's the train spotting dog of Glazedale, who goes wild when trains arrive at the station. Ivan's a dog that loves trains. He comes out every time there's a train about if they let him out. And if he, he'd be out around the station if he could, he's gone to the other end. <laughs>
The S Valley Line offers some fantastic scenery between Gromont and Battersby. There's something for everyone to enjoy, from rugged river valleys to wide open farmland. It's even better in a steam train. And as you skirt the northern end of the moors, you end up at the junction station at Battersby. It's a dead end now, of course, with the link to Picton long gone, but it's still an important junction where the routes to Glazedale and Nunthorpe divide. It's where we gain permission from the signaller in Nunthorpe to return back down the S Valley to Gromont. Back at Bridge 30, and we now know the last passenger train to travel over the structure will be on the early evening of Sunday the 1st of November, part of the Wizard and Bridge Benefit Weekend, which sees a whole host of interesting events. NYMR TV will be there to capture history in the making as Bridge 30 finally closes for good. There's an opportunity for visitors to mark the final journey over the bridge on a special bridge benefit train. It'll be hauled by the iconic streamlined steam engine, the Sir Nigel Dresley. You can find out all about it on our website. Uh, anybody who's old enough may remember all the line closures in the days of Dr Beeching. So we're going to have a little bit of a commemoration of that kind of event. Uh, a little farewell to the bridge with the last train on the afternoon of Sunday the 1st of November. But the good thing of course is that the line will reopen, unlike so many that closed in the Beeching era. We're doing a number of things to raise money uh, for our appeal for the money needed to repair the bridge, to replace the bridge. Uh, one of those is uh, an opportunity on the first Sunday after the line is shut. Uh, that's Sunday the 8th of November when we're having an opportunity for people to walk down to see the bridge, a sponsored walk. Uh, not too long, just the way down from Gothland Station, so it's an easy walk to do. Uh, people can come down here, pay five pounds uh, and see the bridge and then walk back again. And obviously we should be escorting them to make sure everybody's safe. But that's a very rare opportunity to actually walk the track, isn't it? Well, as you can see here, I went, it's not exactly the easiest place to get to, so uh, people normally just see a bit of the bridge as they go over it on the train. Uh, there are one or two footpaths, but you've really got to be pretty dedicated to get here. So this is quite a special opportunity to be able to walk down here, have a look at the old bridge, say your farewells, uh, and then go back and perhaps have a good afternoon cup of tea. Coming up in the next edition of NYMR TV, our cameras are there to watch the last train over Bridge 30. And over the winter, we'll bring you exclusive pictures as work on replacing the structure is carried out. Find us at nymr.co.uk and on YouTube. Just search for NYMR Official TV.